Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you like a day in the life as a stay-at-home mom and small business owner. So, so far in this video, you guys have seen me wake up at 6 a.m. this morning. And as soon as I woke up, I just got right to work because I had three, no, I had two orders that needed to go out today. And it was just a one outfit and a pair of pants. So... I was able to do that really quickly in the morning. I was able to get that done before my husband went to work, so he was able to take the packages with him uh, to work because he literally works right across the street from a distribution center, so he was able to drop the packages off for me today. Um, as of right now, the kids woke up and ate breakfast and got ready for the day, and right now they are searching for some bugs um, they love playing in the dirt, they love playing in the mud, they love being outside, so whenever the weather's really nice, I try to come outside with them and let them play um, outside as, for as long as possible. Um, they ride their bikes, their scooters, play in the dirt, play in the mud, all that fun stuff. So right now they're just playing and um, I don't have any, uh, any shirts running on the machine currently right now. Um, I'll help you in just a second, okay? I'll help you in just a second. Um, I don't have any shirts running right now on the machine. I'm thinking once the kids are done playing outside, we'll go inside, eat some lunch, and while they're eating their lunch, I'll get a shirt on the machine because uh, I do have quite a few orders that have to go out tomorrow. I don't want to work all night tonight just because tonight's or today is St. Patrick's Day and on St. Patrick's Day it's our wedding anniversary so um, I don't want to have to work all night just because I want I do want to spend some time with him and with the kids as like a family so I'm gonna try and work on a few things um, today while he's at work so when, we, when he gets home I don't have to stress too much about just working strictly on orders um, I don't know exactly how many orders that have to go out tomorrow but I know I have a few that need to go out so uh, I'm gonna work on those today, but I'm not gonna get started on those for at least another hour or so. So I'm let these kids play, and then I'll get back to work. <laughs> Mason, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're digging in the dirt. Oh yeah, what are you doing, Jackson? You try to find bugs to put in your bucket? The bar. Oh my goodness. What are you looking for, Jackson? Worms. You're looking for worms? Mmm, big old big old slimy worms. Yuck. You're gonna squish the worm? Oh my gosh. Mason, are you gonna find a slug? There. You're gonna put him in there. Can you show everyone what you're doing? Oh. It's your worm? Okay, okay. It's your worm too. There's plenty of worms in the dirt for both of you guys. Okay, okay. And this is what they do. They argue non-stop. So Jackson, he's three years old. Mason, the little redhead, he is two years old. Um, they're 13 months apart. So I almost had a set of Irish twins, but just by a month apart. You want me to help you now? Okay, I'll help you. You need my help too? Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off so I can help them dig for some worms. I hate worms. I better not touch any worms, but I'll help you dig. Got it? <laughs> Trying to catch a squirrel. We have a bunch of squirrels in our house that literally love to taunt our dogs. Dosha, come here. 
Doja, can you sit? Doja, sit. Sit. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, guys, so we're done from playing outside. I'm gonna start cooking the boys' lunch in just a minute. So far for work stuff, um, I just got like a shirt order for like five HT sh HTV shirts for like birthday shirts. Um, and I'm almost out of HTV, so I just placed a big HTV order from my craft source. And one reason why I love shopping with my craft source is because their processing time is so quick. They ship out next day, or if you order early enough, they'll ship out same day. And usually the shipping's like two to three days for me, so as soon as I place an order, I get the order like within a few days. And they're also really affordable too. They give bulk pricing. So the more HTV you buy, the cheaper. So I just placed that order. Um, I do have a fabric order that came in. I think it was yesterday it came in from fabricbomb.com. So later on today, I'll unbox or unwrap um, and show you guys all the fabric that I purchased from fabricbomb.com. She has a bunch of new prints and like monthly she comes out with new stuff. So um, definitely if you haven't already, go check out her website. She has a bunch of cute different fabrics. She offers bullet print, cotton. I mostly just buy bullet fabric from her because I like using bullet fabric for my clothes. So I purchased, I purchased a bunch of bullet fabric from her um, and then I also want a giveaway from her as well so, so I have some free fabric as well on that order. Um, I like using bullet fabric for my clothes just because I love the way it feels and I just like working with it. It's super easy to work with so I have a bunch of bull new bullet fabric that I'll be making outfits with. And then I also have a few new items too um, to go along with the bows that I'm going to be making. I got some other accessories that I need to be able to do the bows. Um, so I'll show you guys that too a little bit later. And then um, I just want to give a big shout out to, to you guys who have purchased fabric from me. Thank you so much. Um, the mermaid fabric is doing really, 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 really well. So thank you guys. I only have a few yards left. And I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to make anything with the fabric because you guys are purchasing it all, which is totally fine. Um, just when I purchase more, I know that I'll need to purchase more for myself and more for you guys. So just thank you guys so, so much. Thank you always just for all the support you guys give me, whether that's watching a YouTube video, leaving a comment on a video, leaving a like, or purchasing fabric from my shop or anything that I make from my shop. I just thank you guys so much for the constant support. You guys are just amazing and I just appreciate you guys so incredibly much. So thank you guys again for um, purchasing some fabric and just watching my videos and just for the constant support. But I'm gonna get these kids fed because they're acting wild right now. So I need to feed them. I'm gonna feed them and then while they're eating, I'm going to get some of these HTV uh, shirt orders just like cut on the machine. I probably won't weed them out yet, but I have two HTV shirt orders that have to go out tomorrow. So I am just going to get the vinyl loaded on the machine and have the machine start cutting it out. One of the shirts isn't personalized, so I can just get that one going like, right away. I do have a bell bottom outfit that I need to make and then I just have one pair of pants that I need to make that go out tomorrow. I actually have four orders that go out tomorrow, but I want to try and get all the fabric orders out tomorrow too and I have one, two, three, four, four fabric orders. So I have four fabric orders that I want to get out. One person bought seven yards. So that, I like my heart dropped when I saw that because I was so shocked, but thank you so much. Um, for the person who bought the seven yards, like you totally made my day. Um, and then I have two scrunchie orders too that I I have two scrunchie orders too that I want to kind of package up and get those in the mail too because they're just super easy. Um, and then the rest of like my bell bottom outfit orders I'm gonna work on tomorrow, and I'm gonna try and get as many orders out as I can tomorrow so I don't have to work this weekend because I have so much. Fun stuff that I want to record for you guys that I'm going to plan on recording this weekend and not really work on Etsy orders. Just focus on making those videos because I have a bunch, a bunch of fun stuff that I want to show you guys. So anyways, I'm going to go feed these kids and then we'll get started on some HTV orders. Okay, so I have one design up and loaded. I'm going to sit and edit another um, 
HTV design while the kids eat. Um, but this one is a non-personalized one, so it's just gonna cut the vinyl out and I really don't have to do much more besides weed it and press it. Okay, so I have all the vinyl cut, so I just need to sit and weed it. Shirts are over here, ready to go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a shirt loaded on the machine. I'm gonna be doing this one, super easy. It's a quick stitch out, which I really like. Um, but I'm gonna get the shirt loaded. Luckily, my niece came, not yesterday, but the day before, and she came and cut um, all the pants for me. She cut all the legs and the belt of the pants for me so all I have to do is cut the bells out for this order and then one other, one other order that has to go out for tomorrow. So I'm so grateful she came over because she was able to cut and prep all the pants for me. Um, all, all, like all my open orders so basically that cut out a huge huge step for me in the process of making um, birthday outfits so super grateful that she came and helped me out because now literally all I have to do is just do the shirt. I still have to cut the bell portion out of it for the pants, but besides that, I just have to sew the pants and I'll be done with this order.
Okay guys, so I'm finishing up my last shirt. So this shirt just got done embroidering. I just need to add the tender touch. Um, while it was going on the buy though, I moved my P800 and scooted over my baby lock. Um, I just have these baskets here for now. And then I have my Cricut Maker. I am gonna have something new either going right here or over here. I haven't decided quite yet where I want this new item to go. Um, but it feels weird not to have my P800 over here anymore since that was like the machine that like helped grow this business. But I have it packaged up nice and safely and eventually, I, I mentioned this before in, in previous videos, that I'm going to get it fixed and I'm going to be selling it. I'll probably just sell it on eBay and do like a an auction, I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But... I am really excited to show you guys this new addition that I'm going to be adding to my craft room. Um, I ordered a few supplies today for the new item. I'm, I'm, I still need to order more. That's something on my to-do list, but I can't wait to show you guys. I'm hoping I can do the unboxing video tonight or either tomorrow is my goal. That's what I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do. But I'm super excited. And then I have some other stuff, too, that I'm going to be showing you guys, too, that I'm going to be adding to my shop that's going to help grow my business even more so I'm really excited to show you guys that stuff but um, I think it's time now to finally unbox or unwrap my fabricbomb.com order of fabric so let's open that and then I have two other things that I want to show you guys too okay so let's rip open this bag so I ordered quite a bit I did get three free yards though because I won one of her giveaways that she had on her Instagram, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I won three free yards, which I'm so grateful for. So thank you, Mia, if you're watching. Um, a few things that come in the package. She sent some cute stickers. I love stickers. Business cards. And some more stickers. Um, so two prints, or a few prints that I ordered. I got this print. This print is super popular right now, so I had to snag a yard of this for my own. I do plan on adding a birthday outfit to my shop using this fabric. I have a few outfit, a few different designs that I have in mind. Um, this one though, I'm so excited for. I love all things tie-dye and I just have like the cutest little outfit um, planned. Um, you know, tie-dye and bell bottoms, like, I love hippie stuff, so I'm really excited to make some bell bottoms with this, matching bows, uh, bummies, skirted bummies, I'm going to be making so much with this stuff, and I'm hoping that she keeps this stuff in stock because I plan on ordering a lot more of this fabric, it's so cute. I think she threw this in as just another little freebie, um, so she also offers sprinkle fabric, um, she offers the lighter color shade, which is so cute. Very cute. So if you guys are looking for sprinkle fabric, I'm not going to be restocking for at least a month, a month and a half. She has sprinkle fabric and she restocks this constantly. She does sell all of it frequently, but she always restocks it. So definitely um, check out the link below and um, try and snag some of this while you can. She's constantly restocking, so um, just keep a lookout. Um, and then this print I'm really excited for too. Um, I'm just really obsessed with all things 90s and I just have the perfect little outfit planned for this. Um, I had a like a roller skating birthday outfit. Um, it won't match this but I'm gonna make a whole nother outfit too that will match this but this is like all 90s themed um, which is so cute. So I'm really excited to make an outfit with this. And then I mentioned this before too that I'm gonna be adding boy clothes and boy birthday outfits to my shop. So I'm gonna be doing like joggers, um, shorts because summer's coming, and then doing like a matching and doing a matching embroidered shirt. So I got this baseball themed one since it's baseball season. So so I thought that this would look really really cute. I also to have a baseball print um, that's a little more like girlish that I plan on doing like a girl version too, but I really love this print. So 
Thank you, Mia, for all this fabric. I'm so excited to start creating things with it. And if you guys haven't yet checked out fabricbomb.com, check out the link down below. Um, and she has so many, so many cute prints. So definitely go check her out. And if you watched my last video, I mentioned how I'm gonna be adding head wraps and head bows that will match my birthday outfits. Um, I got some like gator clips and stuff for those bows. Um, I also did an Amazon order for just basic nylon um, head wraps. So I could just do like the bow on one of these nylons or they could purchase it as like a whole wrap if they want. So I'm just gonna offer as many different bow options for customers as possible. So I got these. And then I also got these just clear little plastic little rubber bands. These are gonna be for the actual like bow making. But these are gonna be made for the actual bow to be able to like tie like the center point. So I got a bunch of these. Um, so I'm like fully, fully ready to go. And I'm hoping when I add these bows and head wraps to my Etsy shop, they sell well is what I'm hoping. Um, so it'll just be a nice little addition so customers can get like a full, full outfit. So I'm excited for this. Um, and I do plan on doing a whole tutorial and video on how I'm making all the different types of bows because um, I'm going to be making a variety of different ones. Um, and all of them will be made of bullet fabric as well. So I have made cotton bows in the past, which I might offer as well. I haven't decided if I'm gonna offer the cotton bows um, too, but for sure, most of the bows and the head wraps will all be made with the bullet fabric, which I mentioned earlier in this video. I just love and prefer working with bullet fabric. It's just, I just, I like using the material and it's super easy You can get so many different prints, vibrant prints, and for the most part, bullet fabric isn't too, too expensive. Um, sometimes it is more expensive than like the cotton fabric because like Joann's, you can get cotton fabric for super cheap. Bullet fabric, they don't sell that at Joann's at the moment. Hopefully one day they'll start offering it. But for the most part, bullet fabric, you have to get like off Etsy or just online um, in general. I don't really know of any shops. I don't know any of fabric shops that sell bullet fabric, just the ones that like online that sell bullet fabric. But um, I'm gonna finish up this shirt. I still have two pairs of bell bottoms that I need to sew up. Um, and then, but I'm gonna wait to do those until later tonight. Um, I'm gonna go talk to my husband, try and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner, um, eat dinner. And then after I eat dinner, I'm gonna get started on these pants, package up these orders, and then just be done for the night. I am gonna wake up again tomorrow early and just get some work done. Um, before my husband goes to work. I'll have, all, I'll have all my orders ready for him to take with him to work so I don't have to stress about working on orders in the morning but I either want to wake up and try and work out or just try and get a head start on all these orders because I do want to get any remaining orders that I have. I want to get those orders out um, for Saturday morning. Oh, I also have to cut a ton of fabric orders. So actually I still need to cut, do that tonight too. So I totally forgot that I had to do that. So I have fabric orders and bell bottoms that I have to finish tonight. Everything else I'll be finishing up tomorrow and then probably early Saturday morning as well. I will be filming that. So um, stay tuned for a really long work with me in the next few days. So um, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna finish up this shirt and then I'll see you guys back here when I'm done cutting the fabric and I'm ready to start sewing the pants.
Okay guys, so I'm officially all done for the night. Um, I spent probably about 30 to 45 minutes just cutting the fabric for my fabric orders. But I am so happy. Thank you guys again so much for supporting me. Um, this person, she ordered seven yards of <laughs> the mermaid scale fabric. She like almost cleared me out. but. I do have a few yards left, and I do plan on um, restocking soon, so just keep a lookout. But I'm going to go ahead and start packaging everything up. Have my one outfit, one pair of bell bottoms, a couple shirts, and then I had two um, scrunchie orders, so not too bad. Um, Currently, right now, I have 22 open orders. We'll see how many orders I have left after all of these. Um, like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm just gonna actually like bust out as many orders as I can. Today I didn't want to go too, too crazy on orders, but, um, I got all the orders that need to go out tomorrow done, and then I got all the fabric orders that don't need to go out for a few days, but I just want to get them out to people so they can start crafting and using the fabric. I'm really excited to see what everyone creates, so if you're not part of my Facebook group, definitely go ch join my Facebook group, and if you make anything with any of the fabric that you purchase from me, um, definitely share it in the Facebook group. I would love to see what you guys make, or if you make something, uh, you can tag me on Instagram. Just do Nita and Thread on Instagram, and I would love, love, love to see what you guys make, but I'm gonna get to packaging these orders. I'm not sure how I'm going to package this one up. I'm hoping that this one can fit in a medium flat rate box, um, but that's a whole lot of fabric, so um, we'll see what I, how I package up that one.
right guys, so I'm officially all done with my orders. I got all my fabric orders packaged up. All the orders I have to go out tomorrow, those are all packaged up. So basically, I'm gonna go put the kids to bed. It's That's gonna be it for tonight. I'm probably gonna go to bed with them because I woke up super early. I wanna try and wake up early tomorrow. I've been doing a really good job all week waking up at 6 a.m. Um, a few days I woke up at 5.30 a.m. and worked a little before Eric went to work. I'm liking this routine a lot better rather than staying up till 2, 3 in the morning and then having to wake up and then just be dead and exhausted the next day. Um, I'm finding that waking up earlier is... It's helping a lot more and especially with my productivity when I wake up in the morning I feel like I can get way more done than than I do at nighttime when I try and get stuff done. So I'm definitely liking this new routine. Um, if you liked this day in the life and would like to see more um, of what it's like <laughs> during my day, um, definitely let me know down in the comments. And then uh, definitely stay tuned to see what my new stuff is that I'm adding to my shop and um, stay tuned for some tutorials and be working on those this weekend. I'm so excited to work on those and then stay tuned for a very busy work with me. I'm going to be working all day tomorrow so I'm going to try and get as many orders as I can out for the weekend so I don't have to stress about Etsy orders. So um, just keep a lookout for a bunch of videos um, but yeah I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.